One, two, three, four. Can't wait to wake up in the morning. I can't wait to feel the sunshine rays. I can't wait for a better day. We don't display. Right, before we go anywhere, please subscribe to the channel if you've not subscribed already. Turn on your notifications and hit the like button for this video. It's a really big support for me, guys. Okay, one of the things that I'm always looking to do with my street photography is I, I want it to evoke a feeling of like, how the hell did he get the camera there? Like, that, that camera has no place being there. The way that I do that is more often than not, when I'm on the streets, I want to anchor my subject, the person that I'm shooting, the character that I'm shooting, yeah? in the center of the frame. I want to be face on to them. So say I'm say you're coming down the street and if I'm taking a picture of from you of you from here from the side it's kind of easy, right? And that comfortableness, is that a word, will be reflected in your work. But if I'm coming at you from here, yeah, face on, that's not so comfortable, right? It's a little bit dangerous, a little bit daring. That'll be reflected in your work. The consequence of this, a lot of my photography is the subjects are anchored to the center of the frame. Not all of it. I mean, I'm not going to compromise a great moment, cut off my nose to spite my face, but I would say 90% of my work falls into alignment with that, like this. Everything is center framed. There's a little bit of an added bonus with this, because what it does, it creates a kind of a symmetry through my work, a uh, consistency, which in turn kind of creates a lot of confidence hopefully, that's evident in, in my work as a, as a whole. Especially if you're cre kind of, you create like a, a blog post, yeah, or, or your Instagram feed, a collection of images, yeah, like a portfolio, people will get that, they'll, they'll feel that symmetry throughout your work, that consistency, confidence. Look at, take the films of, say, Stanley Kubrick, and more recently, Wes Anderson, yeah? I can't wait for a better day We don't display Death and money. There is a, a symmetry throughout their work in spades, right? I mean, it's it's obsessively single point perspective, yeah? So their reason for doing it, possibly a little bit different, but that, that's what I'm talking about. You can see that symmetry, and as a consequence of that symmetry and consistency, there's a real confidence in, in their work. Everything's anchored to one place, yeah? And this is kind of what I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to bring into my uh, street photography, albeit with a more relaxed symmetry and consistency, because at the end of the day, this is street photography, right? It's documentary. I mean, those guys are setting stuff up. But I think it's a, a good similar to draw upon. Well, let's, let's have a look at a few images. Look at this guy. He was homeless, but he wasn't letting it get him down. Yeah, he, was the, he was the fittest, most on-purpose homeless guy I think I've ever spoken to. And he was, uh, you can see, obviously, he's brushing his teeth. Center of the frame, guys. Yeah, face on, confident. Then we've got this guy. He's kind of just off to the side, but I'm face on. I'm coming at him. Just gives the frame that, that, that confidence. Again, uh, center frame. We've also got this single point um, suggestion with the, uh, the mannequins. This was in Camden. This was in Wolverhampton. Again. Center of the frame. It's not complex. It's just like uh, anchoring myself to a way of doing things. Okay, center of the frame. For me, this is my intention. This is not about rigorously every single image has to be center frame, guys. It's not about that. Just kind of a little anchor. Okay, center of the frame. Not the tidiest of shots. I put it in color just because in black and white, she's kind of lost with all of the mess. There we go. <laughs> Smiley, happy guy. Again, center of the frame. Slightly off center. And hopefully, again, just that confidence of being face on. He's almost just like meditating in the center of the image. Scary guy, he didn't like this. He wasn't happy. And, uh, and we got the guys on the left there. Just adds a, another dimension to the to the frame, center, symmetry. Again, anchored to the center of the frame. Kind 
kind of trying to get away from me now. Not my fault, his. See what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out, I'm gonna record on my iPhone though. Okay, where is it? Okay, because then I can kind of get that point of view thing and um, hopefully the shots will be half decent and I am recording the video for you guys, okay? So it's more about getting a feel for how I attack a shot, okay, my approach. So uh, let's go for it. Death and Marty Can't wait to feel the sun again I can't wait to come in from the rain I can't wait to rid the world of pain Like a storm it came Without warning Today the world was on its knees the fire and smoke choked the trees But I could feel a change in breeze We cannot breathe When we see the future's carting I hope you're with me tomorrow I don't care if you don't know my name And the time you're holding won't remain in tomorrow's day There's no sorrow But don't forget yesterday The vampire blood mutant and plague Your vanity can take away His prophet's place Before the dawning I can't wait for a better day We don't display The death and morning I can't wait to rid the world of pain Like a storm it came Does that make any sense? I hope it does. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, right. oh dear. Thank you. Um, guys, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> That's it, Owen. I'll see you in the next video, won't I? Hopefully. Cheers, guys.